Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you the steps and the products I use to achieve a flawless foundation. I'm not saying this is the only way to do it, but this is how I do it. So, um, it's kind of a lot of steps to take, but I feel like each step is super essential to achieve a flawless foundation for me. I hope you guys find this video interesting. Um, I did create this video because I want you guys to keep referring back to this video um, through all the other videos that I'm going to be doing within the next couple months um, just because I really want to focus on the actual makeup look and not waste time and explain foundation and all that stuff. So that's why I created this, especially just in time for the holidays. If you guys want to see me do a flawless foundation routine, go ahead and keep on watching. So first we're going to moisturize with the St. Ives Timeless Skin Collagen Moisturizer. So you're just going to go ahead and apply your moisturizer to your face and then blend it all in. A quick tip is between your moisturizer, your primer, and your foundation, you kind of just want to let, um, like take a minute to let all those layers set in because if you don't, it's kind of just like if you're mixing all those products in one and then applying to your face and it's not, you're not going to tell a huge difference. This next step is optional. If you have oily skin, I would probably recommend skipping this step, but I'm just going to apply Max Strobe Cream and then just apply this to the highest points of your face. So before we apply our foundation, I'm going to go in with a concealer to correct my under eye area as well as any redness I may have around my face. Um, I'm going to go in with LA Girls Pro Conceal HD Concealer and this is in pure beige and then just apply this to my under eye area and around the nostril dark areas around the mouth and then of course any blemishes I may have and when you're important tip when you're concealing and you want to hide those dark areas you want to make sure you get right on the inner part of your eyes and the side of your nose because if you don't, even though it's not really dark there, but if you don't conceal that, it can cast a shadow and it makes it look like you do have still dark areas um, around your eye. I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out with my finger. ready for a foundation. We're gonna go in with MAC Studio Fix Fluid. But now we're just gonna go in and dot this all over our face. Then we're gonna go in with the Real Techniques Buffing Brush and we're gonna spray this with Fix Plus. I spray it because um, I want the Fix Plus to coat the bristles so the brush doesn't soak up the product. Just go ahead and buff that in using stamping motions. Next we're going to conceal with the Max Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm just going to go in with my finger and apply this on the lower portion of my eye and then we blend up towards the lower lash line. I just like to take the um, concealer and apply this to my chin, bridge of my nose, forehead. And then I kind of apply it like a little lower down here. Like that. I know it looks super crazy. And then a little bit on the cutest bow. 
And we're just gonna go ahead and shear this out with our finger a little bit. If I had a beauty blender, I would totally be using it right now. Um, but my cat's kind of chewed it up. As you can tell, she gets into everything. And Prince is way worse. So we're just gonna kind of top this out. And then we're gonna go back in the brush we use for our foundation. Spray it with Fix Plus again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then just blend everything up. I'm going to use Rimmel's Stay Matte Powder in translucent, transparent with the Real Techniques contour brush and I kind of just load up my brush with this product and stamp it to the under eye area. Okay, so next we're going to contour. Um, I like using the L'Oreal True Match Crayon Concealer in N678. Um, you, could, you could use a foundation that's um, a couple shades darker than your skin tone. You can just go in with powder. I like to use this um, just because it's nice, quick, and easy. So I'm just going to apply a line right there. And right there. So then again, we're going to go back in with the same brush we used for our foundation. And just blend this out. And we're going to go in with Benefits Hula Bronzer. For a little bit more oomph and definition, I like to go in um, with the Hula Bronzer and a Sony Kashuk, just a little round brush. And tap this in my bronzer and apply this to the lower lip area. And it's just going to intensify the shadow I have. Um, on my lower lip and then I take a little bit of that and also apply it to this little divot of our cupid's bow There. now the final step is brows a lot of people don't include brows into a flawless foundation routine and I'm not quite sure why because without brows your look is not really completed like eyebrows are like essential to a makeup look so, with that being said, we're going to go in with Anastasia's Dip Brow, and this is in Dark Brown. Dark Brown. We're just going to brush out our brows and just apply the product. And I'm going in with the MAC 266 brush. Um, if you guys want to see an updated brow routine or how I do my brows or um, certain brow techniques that I have used in the past, go ahead and let me know by giving this video a like. After the brows, that's pretty much it for this flawless foundation routine. Um, you could apply any eye look, lips, any other products you want. Um, this is just basically like my version of a full coverage foundation. I'm quickly gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my face so you guys can see what it looks like all together and I'll be right back. So this is everything all together. I know a flawless foundation may look a little weird and scary without any makeup on but this is what it looks like. So and this is also the look that I created for Thanksgiving. The video on this makeup look will be up tomorrow, hopefully as early as possible, so you guys could recreate it just for Thanksgiving. So um, don't forget to like this video, leave any comments down below, and every product I use on my face will be down in the description box as well, so don't forget to check that out. And thank you guys so much for subscribing, and if you haven't, go ahead and do that now, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.